Hey all, Steve from Guitar Niche here. Well, we have a lovely 61 vintage American Vintage 2 uh, Stratocaster on the bench here. This is uh, 2023. Brand spanking at this point in time. And what we need to do is get this plastic film off the pick guard. So we're going to take the plastic film off the pick guard. So, first thing I'm going to use is this lovely tongue depressor. One of my favorite tools. Get that under the, the nobbies, just like that. This is US made, by the way, so... You know, the quality is there for sure. And the next step is loosen up those nuts Ooh, make a point of something here I don't want to over torque that shaft for the pot so I'm going to control it with this flathead screwdriver Let's see how this one works here yeah that's good that one's fine. Now, if you caught that, if I try to torque that off without controlling the shaft, you can get, you know, stuff coming apart inside. It's just generally not good, right? Anyway, just a couple of uh, short twists on the, on the nuts. You notice there's no dress washer, washers on these, eh? Uh, they're typically manufactured in such a way that uh, tolerances are pretty good. These get pretty tight to the surface and you'll notice these have the, the, uh, the three the three splines on the on the in, inside there. That's vintage type, okay? Anyway, we have a corner here which has already come undone. Don't have to worry about the screws. Don't have to worry about these resets screws or anything like that. Okay. And this should come come away real easy, which it does. Where you will have problems is with screw heads that are pen head. In other words, uh, the plastic material is sandwiched between the screw head and the pickguard material itself. That's that's a to use a word it's a pisser because you gotta sometimes you actually have to take the pickguard up and and push the you know the the, the, the underlying components up to, to relieve the pressure on the screw heads to, to you know get that stuff out. Anyway that's a different story. So it's really that simple. And then we will quickly tighten down all these screws and nuts. Okay, you'll notice that I'm trying to control the, the tension here with the slot screwdriver again. Okay, just so things do not move in the direction we don't want them to, or get over torqued, or out of joint, or whatever. And yes, I'm using my adjustable wrench. This thing is, is brilliant. Yes, it's bulky. Yes, it's clunky. But when you've been using it for decades, it's all good. Anyway, there's that. Now we put the knobbies back on. By the way, you'll notice that the strings were, were loosened off. Not necessarily you have to do that for this process, but it, it makes things a little bit easier. And I'm going to line up the on the volume control here. I've got the, the control all the way, that is the shaft for the pots, are torqued up all the way to 10. And I'm putting the volume pot on with the 10 pointing at the screw. Then it's a simple process of aligning the rest of the knobs 
in the same fashion. And there you have it. They are right tight to the surface. It's really, really cool how close they get that to the surface of the pick guard. I bet you that's only a few thousands clearance between the skirt of the knob and the top of the uh, the, the face of the pick guard. It's really, it really is quite cool. So anyway, that's uh. <laughs> That's our fun stuff for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Get something out of that. Okay, it's not rocket science, but when you do it properly, it makes a lot of sense. Anyway, as always, play loud, have fun, have a great day. Cheers. Carry on.